So I'm starting a new video series on 3D printing and it's going to focus on my new Costal XL 3D printer. <clears throat> I had a lot of fun building this thing from scratch and I'm really proud of it. So I'm going to go into a lot of detail on how you can build one of these yourself. I thought I would back up and start at the beginning and answer some basic questions like why should you have a 3D printer? <laughs> why you should build your own? and what kind of printer to build. One of the main questions I get when people who don't know much about it uh, learn that I'm into 3D printing, they say, well, what do you make? And I try to think of something really profound that I make. But um, what I finally decided is it's like saying, I have a wo woodworking shop. The bottom line is for you to get a 3D printer, you should like to make things. <laughs> 3D printing isn't a mainstream consumer product yet so you're really getting a hobby and if you really like making things why not make your 3d printer so that you can make things I mean it's it's a lot of fun I, it takes a lot of time um, this one took me several months to get all together this is the third printer I built my first printer was a Prusa Mendel 2 it's a Cartesian, like a more traditional, where there's an XYZ, so there's a build platform that moves. Then you have a, a vertical movement and a left and right. So I used that printer to print off the parts for this printer. This is a Costle Mini. This year I used my Costle Mini to print parts for my Costle XL. I wanted a bigger printer. These printers that I mentioned are all RepRap variants. If, if you go to RepRap.org, it's an open community where they document uh, how you can build this stuff. You can get bill of materials, instructions, there's forums, there's help. In RepRap, by nature, they are self-replicating printers, meaning if you have a 3D printer or you can borrow someone's 3D printer, you can print parts and assemble a new printer. There are definitely some things, you know, motors and electronics and these uh, aluminum extrusions that you're going to have to order from somewhere. So the Costle is a Delta robot. Um, unlike the, Car the standard Prusa Mendel Cartesian system, they're both fine. Um, and I'll say that it's a lot like if you need a big diesel pickup, do you do Chevy, Ford, or Dodge? Well, usually you find a guy with a truck, he's hardcore for Dodge or Chevy. Although they're all reasonable vehicles, it kind of comes down to a personal preference. But I'm going to definitely go through a lot of the pros and cons of a uh, Delta printer versus Cartesian. So I'm just going to fire them off really fast here. A Delta printer can move faster. It doesn't have a build surface that you have to get moving. Um, and that movement can also cause backlash on a Cartesian printer. So if you're trying to push the limits of how fast you can print, you're going to get a little sloppier. So in theory, you can print a little, little faster on a Delta printer. In practice, you're really not going to notice the difference. You should just calibrate your printer for quality and don't worry if it takes an extra five minutes or whatever to print your print. The next pro and con is the build area here. So if you have a square printer, you can build much bigger square things. Um, since this is a circle, the square thing that you're going to print is kind of a lot smaller. A lot of the times the thing I'm printing is long and skinny, and that's certainly, you can build, you can build as, as big of a long skinny thing on a round bed as you can a square. The other reason I like a Delta printer is because when you go bigger, you really go taller and you usually have vertical space in, on your work bench. So this printer is 50% larger than a Costle Mini and it's only about 18 inches by 18 inches which is kind of nice. It doesn't take up a lot of room. If you build a bigger Cartesian printer um, it takes up a lot more room on your workbench because you have this build platform that has to move so bottom line is I think that you're missing out on a ridiculous amount of fun building your own printer. Um, if you don't really like fiddling with things and building things, then maybe you should buy a 
thousand dollar or two thousand dollar printer but if you like making things I don't really see why you would do that I mean you're gonna have more fun making a, your printer than you will printing things join me on the next video and I'm gonna walk through my Castle XL <laughs>